What's good YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and welcome to another tutorial. Today we'll be recreating the Spins 808 from scratch, that infamous Spins 808. And the original one sounds like this. And we're gonna go ahead and recreate that in Future Audio Workshops Sublab. So let's go ahead and get straight to that. We're gonna create a new preset over here. Here, this is what it sounds like in its default settings. But we gotta get it sounding like, like that. So the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and change our synth over to a triangle oscillator. We're not gonna change anything on the filter ADSR right over here, but on our volume ADSR, we're gonna go ahead and just pull up the attack a little bit here. I'm gonna pull down the sustain to about 30%. I'm going to pull up the release a little bit here. All right, next we're going to go ahead and on our sampler over here, we're going to bring in like a kick sound because on the original Spins 808, there's like a slight kick there at the top. So let's go ahead and bring that in right now. So on our sampler, we're going to use one of the defaults one that come with it. So you don't have to worry about anything. We're gonna use the TR-808 kick attack click right over here. We don't hear anything because we have to bring it up in our mixer. Let's go ahead and bring that up. So now it's starting to sound like that. We got that sort of crunchiness of the 808 and the punchiness of that kick. All right, and then we're gonna go over to X sub and just add in some harmonics to our sound. So I'm gonna go ahead and just double click this to bring it up to Unity. Maybe we can mute out the other two so we just hear what our harmonics is doing. I'm gonna bring down some of that low end rebel so it doesn't get too muddy. Maybe a little bit less there. All right, it sounds good like that. Let's go ahead and bring in our sample and let's bring in our oscillator. We're getting really close to that spins 808 sound. Now that has a lot more distortion, so we gotta go ahead and bring in some distortion over here. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on distortion unit over here. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and not distort the entire sound. We're gonna go ahead and just distort our oscillator. So we're gonna go ahead over here and we can start off with 100% so we really hear what's happening. Now I'm going to change our oscillator, sorry, our distortion type to tube. We really get that distortion there. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and bring this down. We just want that crispiness. Maybe let's bring down some of the heat. Alright, so that sounds good like that. And I'm just gonna take this right over here and just gonna maximize our bass sound. It's sort of like a maximizer built into the plugin. Bring it up to there, something like that. And that's it. Right there, we just created the famous spins 808 sound. And of course, since you have more control on the sound itself, you can go ahead and make this unique to your own. So if you are looking for some presets or expansion packs for Sublab, you are in luck. Feature Audio Workshop put me up to a task to create a crazy, super dope 808 expansion pack for Sublab. And it is called Hits DNA Volume 3. And it's a bunch of 808s built off of uh, sounds or popular 808s from Travis Scott, Pierre Bourne, Rick Ross, Drake, Murder Beats, uh, Tay Keith, Blueface Baby, just a bunch of sounds from popular songs that you guys can use into your productions. There's also a bunch of other expansion packs for Sublab here. Uh, if you're looking just to expand your palette or library, uh, each pack is $10. But if you opt for the Sublab pack bundle, you're going to get uh, four expansion packs for the price of $25. Super dope. It includes my pack, Hits DNA Volume 3, with Hits DNA Volume 2, Richie Soul Volume 2, and Crush 2. So if you're looking for some 808s, 
definitely get this pack if you're using sublab if you're not using sublab get sublab you're going to create unique 808s on your own you don't have to always rely on samples that uh every other producer is using so that's it for me i will go ahead and place links about everything i discussed in the description box below this video and as usual if you did like this video remember thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more good videos like this one i'll talk to you all soon later peace